Alright, the first thing we want to do is go to the network configuration and set the DNS IP to connect to our DNS server. If you already have Hyper-V extendable switch installed, edit the IPv4 switch from there. Enter in the DNS server IP, which in this case is 135.15.194.20. Now let's make sure that we actually have a connection to that server. So go into PowerShell and ping the IP of that server. Here we'll use the same address that I just put in. And as you can see, we have a response. So we're good to go. Now that we have a physical connection to the DNS server, we have to change the logon. Go to Start, right-click Computer, go to Properties, and change the logon. So click Change Settings, go into Domain, and then enter in the actual domain of your DNS. Here's corp.dns.com. So click to log on to the domain, enter in the credentials, and once we're connected, it will just ask you to restart and log on to your DNS server. For this DNS, we use corp backslash administrator. So click OK, and we're good to go.